the moment that you're willing to be okay alone and take out the factor of who they're gonna be with and take out the factor of am i gonna meet somebody else and to just focus on you and to say i cannot stay in this place anymore because you cannot take any more of that toxicity you think you can but it's damaging you and you need to go you need to let that man or woman go hey my loves welcome back to my channel this is grow with Row. my name is regina welcome if you're new if you're new go ahead and subscribe because as god downloads into me i'm uploading into your spirit so that you can start living your best life in christ today y'all today god is saying you need to let that man go and you know it or that woman go and you know it how the holy spirit gave this to me it was about 3 4 a.m one morning and this was back when i was going through my process and i was talking to god and god was working on me and pruning me and everything but the holy spirit brought it back up in my remembrance and maybe one day i'll sit down and share all of that with y'all but god brought that to me at like 3 4 a.m in the morning i remember i woke up and it was a song in my spirit so it was a song by drake doing it wrong and I'm just gonna sing the lyrics for y'all i'm not the best singer but i want y'all to get the effect when a good thing goes bad it's not the end of the world it's just the end of a world that you had with one girl and she's the reason it happened but she's overreacting and it's all because she don't want things to change when a good thing goes bad it's not the end of the world it's just the end of a world that you had with one girl or one guy. You're overreacting, you're sad, you're, you're, you're upset because you, you don't want things to change. But God is saying in order for you to get to a better place, because you know the situation that you're in is unhealthy, you know it's toxic, you know that person is for you, you don't pray to God and beg for confirmation and ask why you're not happy like other people and want better, but you're afraid to let that person go because you are afraid of change. You've been so used to this person and you don't know what else is out there so you hang on to them and that's why a lot of times we stay in relationships longer than we're supposed to be because we are afraid and it's a line that says but i need someone different you know it uh oh she knows it oh i know it we all know it something's been missing you know it uh oh you know it oh i know it we all know it I need someone different oh oh you know it we all know it stop pretending like everything good between you and your person stop putting on a facade for people you know that when y'all go behind closed doors you not happy they not happy why are you sitting down denying yourself the future that God has for you because you're holding on to this image of the past to this what was holding on fighting trying thinking you did something wrong you just need to go on doing you need to do something else fighting for this relationship that's dead you're resuscitating something that's dead you can't resuscitate it it's not gonna come back alive it's dead god is saying you need to stop resuscitating the dead thing if it looks like i'm crying it's my allergies but god is saying you need to stop resuscitating the dead thing because something's been missing for you and you know it something's been missing for the next person when y'all connect y'all don't feel that bond y'all don't feel that energy y'all don't feel that jive y'all don't feel it and so god is saying you need to let it go you need to let it go it's not a gamble it's a guarantee you need to let it go because when you let that go, you're gonna get what you need. And that's not what you need. You need something different. You know it. Other people could see it. We live in a generation of not being in love and not being together. But we sure make it feel like we're together. Cause we're scared to see each other with somebody else So cry if you need to But I can't say to watch you That's the wrong thing to do We live in a generation of Not being in love And not being together But we sure make it feel like we're together Because we're scared to see each other with somebody else 
You're scared to see your person with another person. You don't own nobody. You act like you're together. You show up on social media like you're together. You take pictures like you're together. But when you're together, you're not together. Stop it. Stop pretending. And I know it's hard. I had to go through it. I know it's hard. I'm speaking from experience. But you cannot allow somebody else to be unhappy. It's not just about you, but when you know you can't fulfill their needs and their desires and you're just stringing them along because you don't want to see them with somebody else, that's selfish. That's selfish. And you're taking up their life because they only live once. You only live once. And so you cannot hold on to somebody just because they're a good person and you don't want to lose them to somebody else. Because you need to find your somebody else too. You need to be open to getting your somebody else too. And so if you're in a relationship. You can't get in another relationship. Because you're a loyal person. If you're a loyal person in a relationship. You can't be open to getting what's for you. And so God needs you to let that relationship go so he could replace it with the one that's for you in the first place i stop thinking about this girl that want my man or this man that want my girl or whatever the case might be and i don't want to see them with somebody else so i'm gonna stay here and waste my life years i'm gonna turn 60 and i never saw what could have been in order for you to get better, you have to be willing to give up what's not working. You have to be comfortable with change. You have to be okay with being alone. This is how you let somebody go. When you really analyze my life with them, am I happy? Am I truly happy? Am I truly fulfilled? Are they happy? When you look at them, are they happy? Are they truly fulfilled? Are y'all always fighting? What is the case? And so you're like, I'm miserable. And then when you say that to yourself and you admit that to yourself and you say, I'm miserable. I don't want to be miserable anymore. And you think about your life without that person. If you could find peace and you could be happy without that person in your life, then you need to let them go. Because the toxicness of what you go through every day in that environment, in that space, and you're sad and you're, you're aggravated, you need to get out of that environment. You need to get out of that space. You need to go somewhere else and you need to do something else. And the moment you could admit to yourself that, I would rather be alone than to take this anymore because I'm tired and I can't take this life anymore. The moment that you're willing to be okay alone and take out the factor of who they're going to be with and take out the factor of am I going to meet somebody else and to just focus on you and to say I cannot stay in this place anymore. So I'm going to leave. When you're able to do that, be brutal with yourself. When you're able to do that, that's when you could give up that person. Without any sort of, oh, well, what is going to happen? Because now you're not worried about what's going to happen. You are worried about saving you. Because you cannot take any more of that toxicity. You think you can, but it's damaging you and you need to go. You need to let that man or woman go because God got something better for you you're holding on to this one little teddy bear and God got this big teddy bear behind his back God could do abundantly immeasurably more than we could ask think or imagine but we have to trust him and if you ask God for confirmation and you said let that person go then you need to let that person go and this is your confirmation today to let that person go because this is for somebody who know God been talking to them and they've just been wondering 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 what well, God is saying yes you need to let them go subscribe to the channel share this to somebody who you know needs to let their person go you're not intervening you're just helping right
and like the video it pushes it out so as much people could see it i love you all so so much until next time guys stay blessed bye guys